Mastering Casual English, the essence of a joint dinner date. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fun and practical phrase in everyday English, joint dinner date. This term pops up in social conversations and is a great addition to your vocabulary. Let's unravel the meaning and use of this phrase ensuring you can use it confidently in your next English conversation. Remember, understanding such phrases is key to sounding like a native speaker. Joint dinner date combines two familiar concepts, but when used together, they take on a specific social context. Let's break it down. Joint. This word implies something done together or shared between two or more people. It's not just about physical joints in our bodies or places, but it's also a casual way of saying that something is collective or mutual. Dinner date. A dinner date typically refers to a meal shared between two people who are exploring a romantic connection. It's not just about the food. It's about the experience, conversation, and shared time. When we combine these terms, a joint dinner date usually means a shared meal that involves more than two people, often two couples or a group of friends. It's a social gathering over food, with a focus on collective enjoyment and camaraderie. Understanding the context is crucial. A joint dinner date can be informal or semi-formal, but it's always about social interaction. Here are some scenarios where you might encounter this phrase. Group dynamics, it's common among friends or colleagues. Imagine two couples planning to dine together. One might say, let's have a joint dinner date next Friday. Event planning, sometimes a joint dinner date is more eventful, like celebrating a mutual achievement or discussing a common interest. Cultural nuances, in some cultures, Joint dinner dates are a way to strengthen bonds, network, or even discuss important matters in a relaxed setting. If you're invited to a joint dinner date or planning one, here are some tips to ensure a smooth and enjoyable experience. Communication is key. Discuss preferences, dietary restrictions, and the venue beforehand to accommodate everyone's needs. Be punctual. Arriving on time respects everyone's schedule and sets a positive tone for the evening. Engage and participate, show interest in conversations, and remember, it's about collective enjoyment. Balance listening and sharing to foster a warm, inclusive atmosphere. Congratulations! You're now familiar with the concept of a joint dinner date. This phrase is more than just about food. It's about shared experiences, friendship, and connections. Use it confidently in your conversations, and who knows, maybe you'll be planning your own joint dinner date soon. Thank you for joining us, and we hope this session has enriched your understanding of casual English. Happy learning, and see you at the next dinner date.